Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a um, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Weekly Tarot reading November 24th to uh, December 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a, a second, guys. Actually, November 25th, excuse me, to uh, December 1st. And uh, bear with me a, a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are to jump right into it. Oops. All right. So the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Cancer, we do have the Nine of Wands, followed by the second one, which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. We have the Two of Pentacles. Third card, which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week for you, that will be the, uh, the Star card. And then the last one, here is going to be the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you. We have the death card. All right, so uh, it looks like that uh, with the nine of wands, let me check on what is a catalyzed by. Oh, okay, so we do have the nine of pentacles. These are in an active neutrals and it looks like that you are on the final line or on a final straw to achieve something significant i mean throughout this week and um, uh, this week is going to be up of most importance for you to be as patient as patient as you can and to arm yourself with a determination and again <clears throat> excuse me and again patience because at the end of the line there is a uh, <clears throat> how can i say it um well, I cannot say that it's rapidly approaching storm, but I would say that there could be uh, that mistakes could be made. OK, and if you are not careful enough, you actually can charge into something you don't want to. Additionally to that, these two cards here are pointing as well that there are some a leap into developments that you can additionally go for throughout this week, but not before you stabilize your current position. As like said, you are on the final straw here where just a, a little bit more efforts and you kind of like have you are going to have your a major achievement so <clears throat> important thing here to be acknowledged with these two cards it is that a um further leaps into development either career or relationship wise has to be made uh only when you feel secure enough to do so only with everything else that you are currently undergoing it is um as stable as it can uh, as it can be and you are sure and i mean a hundred percent sure that you can't perform more into it or you cannot give anything more uh, into it. Apart from that, these peripheral activities of leap of development, they look very, very well with the Nine of Pentacles. They really point to um, potency of increasing your monetary uh, success, a potency into flirting, you uh, you say, uh, as well into those kind of like a carefree uh, interactions where really 
<clears throat> sparks could ignite in between a two people. So let's see uh, what is going to be the challenge then. And that will be the two of pentacles accompanied with uh, the eight of uh, cups. So we do have a uh, passive friends. And uh, these, uh, well, I will start from the previous cards. As we said that you are on a final straw and you do additionally to that have a opportunities to leap into additional developments, well, obviously you are to have many things on your platter. And the challenge is going to be letting go of those that simply isn't working the way you want them to work. It's all about that adaptivity, all right? It's about recognizing you know what actually takes away from you more resources than gives you as a benefit for that reason challenging wise um you may struggle seeing a better perspective once you bite into something okay so you bite into a specific person and things aren't working very well and you don't want to see that there are different better perspectives better people you know that are actually going to be much more or the relationship or the communication, the interaction in general is going to go much more smoother than that particular guy that you have bitten into. So an important thing, letting go of certain concepts that you have self-imposed for yourself, being adaptable, being playful, being agile as well when it comes to a adopting goals. Okay, but one thing you need to know here is that regardless how things are coming around, there will be always something better waiting for you. I mean, from those leaps into development. But as you go with them, um, always your focus needs to be the substantial achievement that you are just on that much to get. Okay, just on that much. So we go to the next one here, which stands for the uh, positive aspects of the week for you, Cancer. And that will be the star card. Wow, look at that. And it is accompanied by the lover's card. Oh my God, guys. So we do have an inactive supporters into this position. And I don't know where to begin with. Uh, well, these two cards, first of all, are pointing that you are going to really enjoy throughout this week in an unfolding kind of love. It doesn't have to be romantic though. It may be friendship type of love, a, a sibling type of love, you know, like mother to a, a daughter or to a, a son, father to a daughter or to a son or vice versa. You know, it's just an, an unfolding love. Unconditional support additionally to that. <clears throat> but uh, on a personal note, these two cards are pointing that if you do have the patience, many worries that uh, you currently have, okay, are going to prove themselves just the trifles and they are going to just simply disappear, all right? They, they, will, they will no longer be any kind of relevant to your future developments, not to mention with those additional leap leap of a uh, improvements that you can go for and uh, also you are going to find out that there is a, a another way how you can deal with all that with this a, a major achievement all right there is a, a better way how you can deal with it and that itself will boost your confidence so much it's going to make you um like a um having an, an ego view upon your life, if you will, being able to not just only foresee what comes around and being able to take a, uh, uh, appropriate measures according to it, but as well will allow you to place for yourself even further goals, you know, even further fulcrums for a year from now, for a couple of years from now, from te for 10 years from now. And, um, uh, so on and so forth. So major, major improvement here. It is what we do have with these two cards, a huge clearance for you. A uh, huge clearance from a, a point of that, uh, like said, you know, problems disappear and because they do disappear, now you are feeling or you are to feel much more confident and the world is gonna look so much more brighter than before. <clears throat> And the last one here uh, points to the positive, uh, to the guidance, excuse me, and we do have the death card. Uh, it's going to be accompanied with uh, the uh, queen of wands. So we do have an, an, a uh, passive neutrals. So um, 
quite a few things it is actually what we can say about those two cards. First of all, do not be cocky, guys. I mean, just because you do have the clearance right now, that doesn't mean that you have to feel almighty, all right? So always have one in the back of your mind that things can go sour. And like I said, raise yourself above, try to raise, raise yourself above the situation and try to you know, foresee or try to predict what it is to come. This is given to you by the week, at least according to my tarot cards. So another thing is that it will be important here to recognize and burn outdated bridges with your past, you know, people, situations, uh, and, and, and opportunities as well that you secretly hope that they are going to arise once again. You had them back in the days, all right? You failed or someone else has failed, it doesn't matter, they kind of like a, uh, they vanished and you hope that they're going to reappear once again. According to those cards, even if they do, that should not be your concern, at least for the time being. What you need to focus on, it is how your life it is to change once you have that clearance. This, is, this should be your only concern throughout the week. Furthermore, it looks like there are some habits you also need to reconsider or, you know, rethink habits. You know, it could be smoking, it could be eating a junk food and so on and so forth. It's going to be different, different for uh, every single one of you guys. Oversleeping, for example, it could be also a, a, a noxious or nasty habit and so on and so forth. And you may, you have the, uh, how can I say it? Um, the option available or the opportunity to sever those habits and um, simply make your life a, a little bit a better. But with those two cards, one is certain it is that what whatever doesn't serve you any purpose anymore, all right? Whatever doesn't uh, makes your life better is going to go away. And it is important that you don't kind of be stubborn and try to hold on into it but instead let it go completely because on its place a new life will sprinkle and this new life in form of new relationship for example in form of new job in form of new opportunity for improvement in your current job is going to be much better than the previous perspective so that being said cancer this was your a weekly tarot reading november 25th to december 1st 2019 Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to um, see each other next time, hopefully. Until then, bye.